What does Memorial Day have to do with the Bible? During the month of May, the tribes of Biblical Africa honored their ancestors and some deceased warriors in celebrations very similar to Memorial Day. A distinctive feature of this festival was the presentation of great quantities of flowers and this was also a time for each family to feast with their deceased relatives like a picnic at a cemetery or at a park where people are buried. Some Africans honored fallen soldiers at the end of the war uh, and this was symbolized through one of their goddesses named Hathor or a Beset. This is also in line with Samuel, 2 Samuel, 18th chapter, 18th verse. The Bible says Absalom, who was a son of King David, took a pillar and erected it in the King's Dale. Other Bibles use the term King's Valley, and it just so happens that the word Dale means valley. In the text, Absalom explains why he set up a memorial to himself. You can read the passage and decide for yourself if it seems like it's linked to the beautiful Feast of the Valley, which again was a time of memorial. Now, the Africans that lived during the Old Testament seemed to honor solemn events, and at the same time, they would end the sacred and memorializing with something festive. In other words, there was the spiritual, but at the same time, there was some type of party or celebration going on. In the same manner that we honor fallen heroes, and then someone may have a barbecue, a feast of sorts. And it was the same thing in China and possibly all over the globe. Most ancient places had a location or an area that was dedicated to the kings and the deceased. The Chinese called their ceremony King Ming. And it was when they visited the tombs of their ancestors to clean the grave sites. They would pray to their ancestors and make ritual offerings. And it would be traditional food dishes and other rituals. And the holiday recognizes the traditional reverence of one's ancestor in China as well as Japan. They would have festivals as well, honoring people who fought in wars during the month of May. And you can tie these days into Hosea 9th chapter 4th verse. It's something to look into. During the month of May, the Greeks, the Catholics, Islam, Judaism, the people of China and Japan and most ancient people are celebrating heroes or they're honoring the deceased in some manner just as the people of ancient Africa. These celebrations all have something to do with purity, festivals, flowers, and the deceased. And some even have celebrations for people returning from war. So when we have our Memorial Day, it can also be associated to biblical times. Something that happened or started in Africa that has continued into modern times. Thank you for listening.